It's DIY time. So the tools that we need is the uh, lens cleaning wipes, alcohol wipes, precision tools, uh, blower, sharpie. Let's begin. I have here uh, Olympus Strip 35. The problem is the uh, aperture blade is stuck together. It doesn't open and if you're going to open the back cover you should be seeing a window if you fire the shutter it has a small uh, window but it's not enough because I tried to check and do the 2.8 aperture it doesn't open all the way so i suspect that the aperture blade is stuck together so we'll try to fix it first thing is you need to observe the orientation of the lens So this is the time we're going to use the sharpie. We have to mark the outer part of the lens. But don't write on the glass, write only on the black plastic. So we know how to how tight if we put it back the the lens. So we'll write a small mark there you go then we're going to use uh, flat precision tools we're going to remove three small screw on the side Carefully remove the the parts, set it aside. Now this is the black plastic that we mark. Unscrew it. Set it aside. Careful, don't touch the glass. Now there is a five screws. Take it off. I'm not a professional camera repairman. This is my second time, so I know how to remove the. Olympus 35 
it is easy you can do it yourself Next one, you have to remove the bottom part of the camera to access the selenium light meter wires. If you are like film photography uh, enthusiast, there's a lot of review on my channel you can try to watch it and consider subscribing for more videos now there's like two wires that lock on the tripod mount you have to carefully pry it or loosen it up but be careful don't force it take your time I use my dental pick carefully lift up the wire Gently, gently. One down, one more. There you go. Now you can lift the lens be careful it will uh, pop the bottom part there's a small uh, ball bearing so be careful just check clean the surface and then remove the three screws
now you see the two aperture blade that's stuck together careful don't force it it should be like spring loaded but this one it doesn't goes back so we need to clean the aperture blade this is very thin aperture blade so be careful don't break it or don't tear it so I have to wipe with alcohol pad or antiseptic alcohol pad to remove the grease so I will clean I will clean underneath the aperture blade and also on the bottom part or in between the aperture blade so as you can see I'm using my dental pick as much as possible I'm not gonna hold the aperture blade because I don't have gloves so I'm cleaning the bit in between the aperture blade with the alcohol pad to remove the grease or smudges or remove the dust particle that stuck with the aperture blade If you don't have alcohol wipes, you can use uh, cotton buds with alcohol, but be careful that sometimes the Q-tips has small uh, particle that will live on the screen or the lens, so I'm using the size lens cleaning wipes if you touch with your finger just make sure you clean up the smudges Repeat this as many as you want until the blades are clean. So right now I'm using size lens cleaning wipes and alcohol wipes. And also 
using blower to dry up so as you can see it's still it's not going back so it's still stuck Carefully separate the blade and then blow the middle of the blade. Now it's clean. Again, use the blower to clean and then when you touch the blade make sure you wipe it right there it's spring loaded assemble the lens do it how we disassemble it when doing this just be careful to separate the screws because they're not the same separate them by group before you close it Make sure you check the upper jaw blade if it is working. Now this is the the part that we mark with Sharpie. Check the lens if it is clean. Moisture free. Again use the size lens cleaning wipes and use the blower to dry.
double check if it is clean If it is tight, don't force it. Just remember the mark it should be upward. I'm checking the mark that I write. So I think the mark that I put is aligned. So I'll put now the cover. There's a small latch at the bottom if you turn the focusing uh, dial you should be it should be followed or is also turning right there see if I turn the focusing dial it also turn it means it's a right fit now put the three screws together Don't over tighten the screws, just make sure that 
it's all secure Double check. I decided not to put the wire back because it's really hard. I might break or I might snap the wire so I leave it as it is. I'll put back the rewind button. There's a small spring that lock the plastic button so ne you need a uh, dental pick to slide it and put the plastic button. Now put back the bottom part of the camera. Now we can test it if the aperture blade is opening. See, as you can see, it's open wide. Again. There you go. As you can see, the shutter and the aperture blade is opening. There you go, we fix it. If you like this video, consider subscribing or you can check my other videos for my film camera reviews. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.